Excessive valve clearance gaps like this can cause what's known as valve clatter. That loud ticking and tapping noise as the engine runs because the tappets are clattering the top like this because of the distance. And you can imagine this kind of operation would create excessive wear for the tappets and the top of the valve stems possibly and potentially components such as the push rods because we've got too much gap and slap there allowing these components to move up and down excessively. This can all have a knock-on effect right down the system to the two cams and the cam followers. Now I've overemphasized the gap on this to make a point. The likelihood is you'd never see a gap of this sort of distance. But you can imagine that when the engine turns and the piston lowers for the induction stroke, it's going to take slightly longer for the valve to open because the tappet has to close that distance first before it can apply pressure to open the valve. Worse still is that it won't push the valve down far enough. It will start to come back up too soon because the end of the tappet is generally too far up so it won't go low enough because of that oversized gap. So you can see that before the piston has even finished its induction stroke, the inlet valve closed again and when it did open there was only a very small gap there which will put a major restriction on all of that air and fuel that needs to come into the cylinder.